Uh, John, so we, uh, we have this uh, new research program uh, that we are uh, trying to, to fund. How can you explain what the new research program is about and why is it important to fund it? Well, uh, the main difference from what we've done before is the new program is focused on a separate uh, plant extract also developed by Mirko Beljansky, but it is not an anti-cancer extract. It is not an anti-inflammatory, but it nevertheless, we now think can play a significant role in suppressing the spread of cancers. And that's because cancers don't just sit there and grow, which is bad enough. They also send out some signals which help promote their own growth. I consider it uh, there, you could think of them as growth factors for the cancer itself. Some of these signals are a class of enzymes called RNases. They process RNA. And your father discovered that some time ago in skin cancer. He also found that these RNases were elevated in many kinds of cancer, several kinds of cancers. And at the time he knew these, this family of enzymes was connected to the pathologies of skin fibrosis, and cancer. And I think we're now in a position to find out what's really going on. What are these released signals actually doing? Well, we know they're RNAs, they're enzymes which process RNA. And we now think that the ginkgo extract can inhibit the activity of these enzymes. And that, given that they play a role in cancer progression, would be inhibiting the progression of the cancer. So that's a different way from, for example, what Paupera and Robert Chabon-Victoria are doing, but would kind of indirectly kill the cancer cells by starting them. So that's basically what you are saying. Well, it's connected. We think one possibility at least is that one of these uh, RNAs is a molecule called angiogenin, which has the effect of drawing new blood supply to the tumor to feed the tumor. So the tumors want to grow uh, rapidly and continue to uh, advance as a cancer. They need blood supply for nutrition and, and oxygen. And they have this signal, which is one of these RNAs, which is sent out to recruit blood supply. So this would be an indirect effect if we can inhibit that. Uh, it's not a cancer killing by action on the cancer cell itself, but it is, I think if it proves to be true, we're depriving the cancer cell of the tumor of blood supply and limiting its growth. So, so how would that benefit for people uh, to people with melanoma, for example, which are very concerned with angiogenesis? That's right. Uh, I think it could help reduce the growth of the tumors. So it's a indirect, it's not a cancer killing, as I just said, but if you can intervene with the supply system, the blood supply of the tumor, you can keep it from growing. And I think this is a very exciting uh, frontier in uh, biomedical research now, in cancer research, because uh, we're looking for new ways, in addition to the cancer killing mechanisms of the palpurera and the Volfi vomitoria, it looks like we could see another anti-cancer mechanism with the ginkgo extract. And as I said, this is underway. We know in initial preliminary data, that the ginkgo does indeed inhibit these enzymes. And what we're now trying to do is find out if the ginkgo is inhibiting, say, specifically angiogenin. Is it having that specific effect? Because there are many RNAs involved, and we need to know, are we having an effect on a RNAs like our angiogenin with a specific role in cancer progression? Where is this study conducted? Uh, this is being done at University of uh, Kansas Medical Center. Uh, we have a long history of collaborating with them through pancreatic cancer, ovarian cancer, uh, and respective stem cells. Uh, there have been a study done there with the green tea anti-cancer effects. And we're now on to this new ginkgo project. When do you expect to see results? Well, uh, I think they just opened up the lab again. So we're hoping in the next few months to get uh, more insight into how, how the ginkgo does for uh, these RNAs. Thank you, John. Thank you very much.